I think, if I'm not wrong, the Barbarians 13 are going to find out their fate quite soon. This is an issue for me. Well, hang on. Just before we do that, um, it is it is bubbling and it's going to get a lot of chat off the back of it. It is worth reiterating that the the panel that are judging them is purely independent. So this is not an RFU hand-me-down who are going to say, right, this, this, that, and the other. This is an independent panel who are going to assess what has happened and what the punishments should be. And they can literally go anywhere. There's no precedent for them to act off. But I would love them to instead of giving Chris Robshaw a 10-game ban and effectively ending his, inter, you know, his, his rugby career before he heads over to San Diego, to say, right, you've cocked up, all of you. You massively got this wrong. But instead of fining you or instead of banning you from games, you are going to give us 10 days next year where we are going to use you for community rugby schemes. And we're going to send you to clubs that need support. And we're going to get your paintbrush in hand and you're going to go and paint the bogs. And you are going to pay back by paying into the pot by inspiring, admitting that you got it wrong to, to people and showing that you will actually, you know, get involved and may, literally make it good rather than just pay a fine or sit on the sideline. Can we get to a point where if someone gets it wrong, even in the, ga- you know, premiership games, if you get sent off, instead of a three-game ban, which benefits nobody, or a five-grand fine or whatever it is, you should pay your fines in doing good for the rugby community, which needs it more than ever before as we come out of COVID. Well, it's a great idea. I think, I think yeah, because I, I, I've actually looked into this because obviously, you know, I, I had my barbarians rant, if you want to call it. And, you know, we said that I was going to get vilified. But actually, bizarrely, I had one bloke who runs a pub in Twickenham who told me that he loaded a lot of money and I'd lost the plot because he didn't, uh, he didn't get the game. But everybody else was unanimously positive. You know, and I think you're exactly right. It's really important to reiterate that this is not an RFU panel. The RFU don't have the ability to stop it. It's sort of like they put something into motion. Now someone's put something into motion and they can't recall it. It's like the start of a horse race. The horse is like, like running. And you're like, oh, yeah. a quick silver. Could you come back, please? And it's like <laughs> over, jump, it's over jump seven. I, I will say that if this is handled badly, this is going to be uh, a, a bit of a PR disaster across the board because... Actually, everything that I said about happened, happened. And there's actually more to it like that. And I'm not going to start revealing other stuff because there's obviously a case, but I know there's faults on both sides. Oh, you know, there's, there's details that haven't been got right. There's mistakes, there's been incompetences. And ultimately, fundamentally, the lads broke the rules. But everything I said about them going to cafe and everything else was, was, was true. And, you know, the, the understanding it wasn't a proper bubble is, is true. I think you're exactly right, Alex. It is a brilliant idea. But actually, what's really interesting is the transitory world we live in Nobody cares now. And this is the problem, is that we've, England have won the Six Nations. They, got the, they, they won the money for, was it, five million for winning the Six Nations? I might be making that up. Someone said that, four, five, whatever, whatever you get for winning the Six Nations. And we've all moved on. We're now looking forward to it in a really positive manner. And at some point, this is going to come... Oh, by the way, some lawyer somewhere who's like beavering away, treating this, I'm led to believe, like a legal case. This is like not messing around. This is boys making deputation. This is like guys getting charged for... You know, going to the pub, going to the pub again, lying. This is like going to go on and on and on. And I think it's, it's really interesting. And I think actually you're exactly right. Somebody somewhere, because there's somebody in charge, has got to stop and actually say, whoa, let's rewind this. 